How many of you, just by a show of hands, how many of you would be interested in a simple, easy to use, time tested, proven formula that would help you craft a speech that would be successful? Wow, in this room, if you didn't raise your hand on that one, you didn't understand the question. <laughs> of course, you want to know a formula that would help you craft, craft a speech so that it would be successful. Well, this morning, I want to give you five little ideas that you can benefit from if you would only give them a chance. These are proven techniques that I see professionals use and non-professionals. Five suggestions on how you can craft a speech and to make a winning speech out of it. If you're writing this down, this will be number one. <laughs> number one, capture your audience's attention. You must know by now, if you do not have your audience's attention at the outset, you may never get it. We live in a fast-paced, remote-controlled, microwave world, and if you don't get your audience's attention at the outset, you may never get it. Now, you've got to come up with something that you can do or say that would capture your audience's attention. Let's think long together about that. What can you do? Why not ask the question? Jose, if you, if you ask a question and then call for a show of hands, that not only captures your audience's attention, but it draws them into you. What about a bold statement of fact? I'll never forget the time I was sitting in an audience. The speaker was introduced, and after he was introduced, he actually the applause died down. He got stony silent. And the speaker looked out at the audience. He smiled. That's another way to capture attention. He smiled and he said, <laughs> "Men make better bosses than women." Boy, did that capture their attention! In fact, Rachel, that we had to hold some of the ladies down on the chairs. Yeah. <laughs> But the man, he, he went forward and said, that's what I read recently, and I'm here today to tell you that just ain't so. I thought, boy, that's terrible English. Isn't that a great way to capture attention? Isn't that a great job? Another way you can capture attention is a, a quote, a bold statement of fact, a, a quote that is familiar to the audience. It'll capture their attention. So number one and first and foremost is do something or say something to capture your audience's attention. The second thing is, Gain audience acceptance. Yes, I said gain audience acceptance. You say, well, how do you do that, Wade? I say, it's your appearance, it's your dress. And you say to me, wait, dress and appearance shouldn't matter. You know what? You're right, it shouldn't matter. But you know the reality of it is? It does matter. People are affected by your appearance. Now, I'm not suggesting that you have to wear your Sunday go to meet and vest and outfits. But I'm telling you that if you want to win your audience over, if you want a successful craft of speech, you, you can win your audiences over with the way you are dressed. And don't you feel better when you're dressed up? Don't you? Don't people treat you better when you're dressed up? When I go to the grocery store, to the post office, wherever I go, I'm treated better when I'm dressed up. And I'll tell you what else. Here's the bonus. When you're dressed up, you feel better. When you feel better, you deliver better. So the first thing is capture attention. Second thing, gain your audience acceptance. Third thing is introduce your topic. Let your audience know what your topic and your subject is. Now I know that I don't have to tell all of you that. You all know you have to let your audience know what your topic is, what your subject is. I mean, I mean, Herbie, some things you just automatically know. You better know. Kind of like my son Wayne Jr. when he came home to school in the seventh grade. He said, here's my report card, Dad, and I'm tired of watching TV anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you just want to get to know. But I wanted to remind all of you, if you want to craft a speech that's a winner, let your audience know what your topic is, what your subject is. You know, I've said in audiences sometimes with the speakers, either thought it was clever to add a little mystery to their presentation by, by not letting the audience know what their topic, what their subject is. Don't make that mistake. Let your audience know. Capture their attention, gain your, their acceptance, and introduce your topic. And then the fourth thing is, and this is so important, let your audience know the reason and purpose for speaking on that topic. You see, I think a public speaker is nothing more than a tour guide. A tour guide who's taking an audience's hand collectively and saying, this is where we're going, this is the direction we're heading, and, that's, and this is the reason why we're going there. Be a tour guide. Capture your audience's attention, gain their acceptance, introduce your topic, and let your audience know the reason and purpose for speaking on it. And finally, this is so important, don't miss this. Number five, offer your audiences a benefit. 
Let them know that they're going to receive something if they would just invest their valuable time into listening to you and your presentation. As I mentioned earlier, this is a fast-paced, remote-controlled, <laughs> microwave world. And when you stand before the audience, you have an obligation to give them something of value. Now, you may be promising them some pearls of wisdom, things they didn't know. Or you may be having a handout or offering them something else. But you have to give your audiences a gift for investing their valuable time. I love to tell the story of the man who was hosting his own birthday party. He called up all of his friends, all of his relatives, says, come on over to the house. Don't stand on any ceremonies. Just come on up and be a doorbell with your elbow. Everyone said, well, that's all fine and good, but why my elbow? He said, man, it's my birthday. You're not coming empty handed, are you? <laughs> Don't let your audience walk from the room with an empty hand, figuratively speaking. Let them know that if they invest their valuable time into listening to you and your presentation, they are going to receive something of benefit. They're going to receive a gift. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a five simple, easy-to-use formula for crafting a winning speech. Capture your attention, gain acceptance, introduce your topic, give a reason and purpose for speaking on that topic, and never forget, give your audience a gift a benefit for investing their valuable time into listening to you. Mr. Toastmaster, I work.